hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a short plier like this using adobe photoshop before any further ado let's get started so here i'm going to use four by four inches Then make sure that your resolution is 300. Now, these are the test I'm going to use. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Change the font color. Also change the font. I'm using poppins. Then apply vertical alignment. Control plus D to deselect. Duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Double click to alight. Then come over here to copy a test. And you paste it. Okay, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Use your arrow key to shift it up. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Apollo. Increase the font size. Alright, then I'm going to copy this color code here, then select the text and change the font color. Then apply your blending option. So input those code you are seeing, then OK. Duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then type your test. Now I'm going to rotate it vertical, then position it around the air. Then come over here to copy your test again. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font color. Before then, I will change the font to impact. Now change the font color to white. Then increase 
is size okay now apply a drop shadow the opacity is 35 distance 6 spread 7 and the size make it 10 sorry i mean 24 All right, so click like this, then you click OK. What I did over there is to bring the online program at the top of faith, then organize it well. Then I'm going to change the font of this one. I'm going to change the font to a vertical insert. Then hold your Alt key and drag the layer style. Apply stroke. Then OK. Then now I'm going to change the font there to a vertical insert. Then you duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then come over here to copy your test, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. All right. Then increase the size. So click like this. Then I will rename it. So the next thing now, I'm going to copy the date. Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. I will leave the font color to white. Then what I will do now is to apply my drop shadow so that the color will pop up. and put the code you are seeing over there
Remember the font I use there is Poppins. So as you can see it now, what you are doing doesn't make sense for now. But by the time we apply the background now, we see that everything will change. Then come back again to copy, select your test tool and control plus V to paste. Also change the font to poppins. Then make it bold. And you duplicate this one. Then you copy the layer style. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you copy your test. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now highlight this one and click on the superscript. All right. Go to the second layer, highlight the TH and apply superscript. Use your arrow key to move it up. Then come over here again to copy your test. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J. Now Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the font size. Then you group them and rename it. Also the same thing to this one. Time. Okay. So the next thing now I'm going to copy that color you see there, then I'll paste it. So we have started on the background now. So what I did is to change the background color to overlay. Okay, so let's go back again to the background. Before then, I'm going to apply this light flare to the test. Then change it to screen. Then I'll position it around that center area. So now I'm going to the background before I come back to the light flare. Then you import this background. So now I'm going back to the light flare. Increase the size.
then go to your blur gaussian blur then input 16.6 then okay increase the size of the test then you move it to the to this side okay then arrange this one by bringing it down Use your arrow key to bring it down. Then scale this one out. All right. Circle like this. Then select the date and the time, then use your arrow key to bring it down. Now, the next thing we are going to do now is to bring our icon for date and time. Reduce the size, then you drag it to the boost position for date, press Ctrl plus U, Okay. Then bring this icon for time. Reduce the size. Then you drag it to the position of time. Press Ctrl plus U. Then you take it to the white area and you click OK. The last thing is to bring the icon for location so you position it at the bottom here then go back to your test ctrl plus c to copy then Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to black. And reduce the font size. Then you reduce the size. Then you group it together. Ctrl plus A to select apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect.
So now you can apply any adjustment you want. So that is it for today's flyer. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share.